So exactly. I feel like that's kind of that that's a direct correlation to how we are creating our reality and the momentum that we hop on in that process. Cause change sucks for most people. Change is scary. Change is intimidating. <laughs> it's hard. And that's kind of that. I, I, I think of that as how the rocket has to take off. That initial that, launch is hard. It takes yeah. all that fuel. There, I think, uh -huh. you know, we're, we're forced to experience the moment now until we learn from the moment. Once we yeah. transition into that 5D, we can now choose when to rewind, fast forward, and which role we want to hop into, which movie we want to join, you know, at that moment in time. Um, you, on, on the things that you were able to manifest, the money and whatnot, you said zero doubt. You had zero doubt. And I think that's such key, you know, because zero doubt removes the resistance. That yes, resistance yes. is the fear, is the is the doubt that we have of ourselves that's what uh, that's what holds us back from finding that momentum you know the momentum the idea is we build off of the momentum we build off of our small little wins each day is a little win a little bit closer a little bit closer are we going to hit as we're still learning this power are we going to achieve success instantly every time hell no you know we don't even know how this works for the most part <laughs> ways by the way not just money. success comes in many ways, not just money, by the way. Correct. Correct. So it's it's the idea is we have to be able to see all the little incremental successes, no matter how big or small they are. We have to be able to see them build upon them each day, which is going to allow us to remove that doubt, get to that point of zero fear, zero doubt. And it's actually, you know, in it's the fact it's going to happen then by doing so, we build that momentum. We build we build the momentum, which allows easier and easier manifestations because we start to believe. We start to have that faith in knowing that what I say, my words have power. This is true. I create this, and that's I think that's what's bringing us closer and closer to this transition of moving into fourth and fifth dimensions where we can now compress time, space, remove it from exist. It doesn't even need to exist. Yeah. No.